Hello everyone, and welcome back. My name is Nicholas, this is Major Crit. We are going through this cave. That I don't actually know the name of the cave. It might have come up earlier. I wasn't looking. Um, and we got Geodudes. Where's the cave? Probably Zubats. In fact, I should look that up. Wait, that, ooh. That cat is not going to be able to take out a Geodude, especially not at such low health. Ah, oh, this is Orber Gate. And yes, indeed, there are just Geodudes and Zubats, at least on this level. The cave, apparently there are multiple levels. Wouldn't be surprised if that's blocked out, though, right now. So we can rock smash our way through. Sandstorm! Oh, no. Well, better than Sand Attack. Sandstorm picked up. We'll just do this. Oh, didn't quite manage to defeat him. Ah, because he's sturdy. So, sturdy is the ability of Pokemon. Uh, ones that are sturdy uh, will always survive with one hit point left if they have more than one hit point and would be defeated. But they can't get one hit KO'd. Always gotta have at least two attacks to fight, uh, defeat them. We trainers will accept challenges anywhere. It's what we do. But you're not accepting a challenge, you're placing the challenge, right? Got a Shinx. If you're a female, I'm definitely not fighting you. Thinking if I've got, you know, lowered attack from the rivalry ability and the intimidate. No, don't thundershock me. Cool, you should definitely have tackle as well. It's like the first move that Shinx learns. There you go. Well, I mean, it's not actually sure if that's more effective or not. There we go. You do grew to level 10. Yeah, I'd like roll out. Um, we're not going to use this. Uh, I don't think we're going to use rock polish, even if we do use Geodude for anything. Efficiently raids, yeah, something like that. Sorry, I wasn't even reading. I was thinking about Geodude and whether or not a defense curl gave a bonus to roll out. I think it does. Celebrate my getting through this cave. I'm going to battle you. Celebrate getting through. You're not out yet. And the cave's super short. Well, I guess she's just a little picnicker girl. She definitely looks like she's wearing a uniform. That seems more like a Girl Scout than just like a person who's on a picnic. Right? You don't necessarily wear a uniform to do that. A void? There's barely anything. Wing attack should... Uh, hopefully it doesn't have poison point. It have poison point. Doesn't seem so. That's an ability that, um, as when your Pokemon touches their Pokemon, as in, if you do a physical attack against someone with Poison Point, there's a chance that you get poisoned for touching them. They've got pointy poison bits on them. That cat's at low health, but hopefully a Thundershock will super effective enough here. Beat the duck. I always felt like Psyduck and or Golduck should have been psychic type, you know, partially psychic type. It always annoys me that they aren't. Because they do learn psychic attacks, and like, in the anime, you know, Psyduck was always doing psychic things. Nice, nice, nice catching up. Fight, yes, definitely. Sixty damage versus forty dark. So 
let's keep that for now. Clear, I'm probably not going to use, I'm not much for status affecting ones. You don't really don't need them unless you're doing like a boss battle style thing. Um, or playing competitively, and we're not playing competitively. Razor Leaf, nice. Okay. 55. Gets land more easily. 95 accuracy. I feel like I'm more likely to use growth than withdraw. I don't think we need both of those. I probably could have replaced leafage. It's just that. Razor Leaf has relatively small amount of uh, uses comparatively. I don't want to run out of grass attacks on my grass boy. Orber City. City of energy. Not City of rocks. Howdy, trainer. If you don't have a single gym badge, other trainers will look down on you. Like you're a total noob, right? So I'll show you where the town's Pokemon gym is. Alright, I was going to get there eventually, but I wanted to explore the town on my own. Huh? There's someone there! Yeah, isn't that interesting? These vents exchange the hot air down below with fresh air from outside. Looking down then gives me the urge to start yelling into them. Hello! Oh, I thought those were like streetlights. Okay. I don't think Dexter would immediately pick a fight with us again, but I definitely want to hit a Pokemon Center before we talk to him. There are eight gym leaders in the Sinnoh region. The objective for trainers is to get gym badges from them all. Goal. Rourke, 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 Rourke lets us train our Pokemon in the mine. Rourke, like a rock, but with an extra R in there. Gym leader isn't just like any trainer you meet. I'd take as many Pokemon as possible if I were you. No, quantity isn't important, it's quality. Tight matchups. Are you catching Pokemon? Here, take this if you'd like. A Dusk Ball. That helps us catch Pokemon either at night or in dark places. Giving nicknames of Pokemon is the way to go. It makes you feel as if they're your very own. He named our Psyduck yellow just because of its color. I don't understand the logic behind that at all. I, the logic is very straightforward. The problem is that it's too straightforward for you. Pokemon, I wonder if they've got any other things to buy. Listen, listen, do you have a Pokemon called Machop? Would you be willing to trade your Machop for my Abra? Uh, nope, I've got an Abra, but not a Machop. Pokemon obtained in trade grows quickly. If a Pokemon grows too much, it will often ignore the trainer. Of course, that won't matter if you have a lot of gym badges. That's a mechanic that's important, is that overleveled Pokemon, who are not yours originally, will um, begin to ignore you. All Pokemon have a special power called an ability. Is it all Pokemon that can level up? I don't think... I'm not sure. If it's only traded Pokemon that might ignore you if they level up too quick, or if it's yours as well. I never had a problem with my Pokemon doing that, only when I traded. How many Pokemon and I are alike? It's not anything I can explain easily. The view is good from up here, but it's a pain going out. If you don't mind, how about showing me a Pokemon called Zubat? Um, alright. That trade? I don't think that's a trade. I think that's just show me the Pokemon. Let's hit up the Pokemart and then try to find the Pokemon Center so we can grab out a Zubat. Some netballs. Yeah, let's pick up some netballs. Good for catching bugs and water Pokemon. How many do, potions do we have? Ten. Let's just go with five more. I haven't been having to use them much. But when we do need them, we might need a lot. And I think that's fine for status healers. Badges of Pokemon gyms give you a measure of a trainer's growth. By getting more badges, you get to buy more items and Pokemon. Yeah, okay, so that's confirmed. The Pokemon girls are so pretty. They leave me tongue-tied. Pokemon Center first. 
Wrap out that zoo bat, talk to those people, and then talk to our rival. Hey, appearance on the union room. Box. And most people in the Pokemarks and stuff just give you, like, information that you already know, especially in the early ones. Get traded at the global club. Weird because it's not open. Zubat. Trade that out for a... You, dude, why not? Hello and welcome to the Pokemon Center. Oh yeah, I don't need to read that out, or else we'll be reading it out all playthrough through. Alright. Now, why does this guy want to see a Z-Bat? What is his deal? Pokemon, that's a Zubat. Wow, that's cool. It's so cute. That does it. I'll go out and catch Pokemon too. Thank you, my friend. This is a token of my thanks. You obtained a heal ball. Oh, I didn't want that. All right, he saw like just the like the most uh, common, like annoying Pokemon that everyone sees way too many of, and he's like, I'm inspired down to my soul. Gym leader went off to work in the mine. That's going to be an issue. When I run around with my running shoes on, it feels like I'm the center of attention. There are a lot of different TMs. It's tricky trying to decide which Pokemon should learn what moves. Rourke is our town's dream leader. He may be young, but he keeps his mind running safely and efficiently. Rourke is a user of Rock-type Pokemon. Don't you think rock type Pokemon are nice? I like how lumpy they are. Lumpy. Huh? Oh, it's you, Nick. You finally got here. You're slow like always. He's so slow the gym leader's long gone now. He's had to he had to go, uh oh yeah, to Orber Mine. I got my badge already, so it's no big deal to me, but Orber Pokemon Gym, Gym Leader Rourke. Call me Rourke the Rock. This Orber Mining Museum. Coal mining and you. Game, okay. Another the industrial building or what over here? Oh, seems like what they call living. You remind me so much of the time I got my first Pokemon. I always have a rotten time trying to decide which moves my Pokemon should learn. Hey, yeah, your Pokemon could use some toughening up. Why not try training in Orber Mine? That a good place to toughen up. Get him a chop there. Wow, your Pokemon's eyes are twinkling brightly. I think that makes me happy. Here, I want you to have this. Great ball, nice. You know how Pokemon stay inside their Pokeballs? I tried to think about what would be, be the best Pokeballs for them. Poor poor mine is operated with the utmost care. We avoid causing any damage to the natural habitats of Pokemon. The whole system of taking the coal out of the mine is automated. There's nothing backbreaking about it. That seems kind of crazy. Just getting the ore out of the mine, or like the entire mining process? In the museum. Oh, the Pokemon that carried this must be terribly strong. Oh, so this is cool. I never expected something this big. I don't know if we actually want to look at the museum exhibits. I think we could get bogged down here quite a bit. Well, how about that? Orber mine extends under the seafloor. Hello, hello. How are you? I study Pokemon fossils. Me, right here and now. On the verge of a breakthrough, I am to achieve extraction from fossils. From fossils, I can extract Pokemon. But not yet, not yet. Hello, welcome to the Orber Mining Museum. So, if we can get our hands on a fossil, we need to take it to him. Or our fossil Pokemon, which is always a cool idea. This is... Oh, city town. Okay, this is up to a different route. This slope is too slippery. You'll need a bike to get up. 
You don't have a bike? There's a cycle shop in Eterna City. Who's here? Oh, there's an item over there. Geodudes in this rocky area, not surprising. Apparently we can find Machop's run. Wait, wait one second. I'm not fighting a Geodude with my Shinx. Just looking up. Apparently we can find Machop's around here. Machop. Ooh, Perry's up there. We can't get there yet, though. One hit in there. I'm always suspicious of those little spots. Unfortunately, Machop has exactly the same problem as Abra. Is I don't actually want to keep him. Because I can never get him a champ. Bite, not very effective. Let's try some simple tackles. Soften him up. All right, critical hit. Okay, I was like, ooh, either I've gotten really strong or critical hit. Very good, that's one for the Pokedex at least. In fact, we could trade this to that kid. Like I'm just here for the Pokedex entry for this guy. Muscles never cramp, however much it trains. It lives in the mountains, away from humans. I feel like if we're trading to someone, we should give them a fun nickname. Um, let's see. Low kick, a chop, guy. Let's just call him Bruno. Bruno seems a good name. Or a chop. Immediately swap out our Zubat, who we only had with us for showing to person reasons anyway. Let's see how it works to trade Pokemon with an NPC. Oh! I know. Okay, no. I'm trying to remember how that works. No, trading the Sabra doesn't help us evolve him. He has to be a Kadabra and then they get traded. Oh, I could have done that from the box. All right. That makes it easier. What even is the animation here? Oh, I think we've got an error with the game. Because, uh, I can hear. <laughs> you can probably hear stuff going on. But there's no black screen. All right. Um,. See, was that just an error for that specific animation, or do I need to um, get troubleshooting? Okay, I'm just pressing A. Okay, we can't see anything. Give me a second. Alright guys, I'm back. I've teleported because I paused the recording while I tried to fix things, and then I forgot to unpause it. So, all that happened was we got the Pokemon trade, um, we got this Abra, we're keeping it with us uh, so that we can use it to teleport and it'll level up fast and hopefully evolve so we can get the Kadabra Pokedex entry. Um, and my face is covering up that, but whatever. It's gonna cover up something. There's always something on some part of the screen. Um, and then I went around and the reason I noticed that I had it unpaused, and I'm glad I noticed it relatively quickly, was because then OBS, the uh, video froze on me. So uh, I'm a bit worried now about about things. Um, it going black screen on me, and then uh, going frozen on me. Yeah, seems like a concern. No question that this is hard, hard work. But working alongside Pokemon gives me a boost somehow. Here, take one of these and a super potion. Nice. Feeling hale and hearty puts a smile on my face, and that makes me happy. Going into a rocky cave. Honestly, let's get Leonardo out front here. And it froze again, right? Y you guys saw that. Um, yeah, and the audio freezes for a second. And then the video stays frozen. All right, obviously something is going wrong with my system here. I think I might need to um, do some messing around because like, I can fix it. But, you know, I don't want that happening regularly. And it seems to be happening like every couple minutes right now. Um, so, 
This episode might get called for technical difficulties early. This bottle of dirty sand is called a slag heap. It's a waste from sorting coal. Um, and next episode, hopefully I'll have figured things out, stopped this from happening, and then um, we can go and in, go into the mine and then maybe take on the gym leader. Uh, but yeah, really not sure what's happening because it was working fine for quite a while. I recorded another episode before this of why we didn't have any issues. I guess I'll poke around. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow, hopefully with less technical difficulties. Until then, bye.